Hi. So, a few months ago, I got a package. I got a package from Rick the Ramp Man. If you know Rick, he's on a couple forums, RC groups, I believe. Rick makes ramps for the motocross, not, not the motocross guys, but like the X Games guys. Uh, uh, guys that are doing backflips, Superman seat grabs on dirt bikes and such, but... He manufactures ramps for those guys, for X Games type stuff. If I was 19 years old again, I'd fire up the old CR250, I'd call up Rick and I'd tell him, hey, I need one of those special ramps. But since I'm old, I got something else instead. It's called an ESR meter. Uh, Rick himself assembles these and produces these. I forget what the E stands for, but the SR stands for Series Resistance, um, or as I like to call it, simply an IR meter, or Internal Resistance. Uh, where this comes in handy is if you have a battery, you're not sure if it's good or bad, you can plug it in and test it with this meter. Personally, if I have a battery and I'm not sure if it's good, I already know it's bad, so I didn't really buy this item for this purpose. Uh, 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 I bought it more more uh, to do other things with it. One thing you can do is figure out the true C rating of your batteries. Um, that's, that's another thing I'm not really too worried about. For a long time, I was told that there's no batteries higher than 35C. That anything higher than 35C is really a marketing ploy. And I believe it. The, the question I have, if you buy a Turnigy Graphene 45C and then you buy a 65C, is there even a difference or if it's, is it just a label difference? Uh, I have a feeling that there is a difference, that the 65C is, bat, is better. This, is, this tool is one way that I could confirm that. Um... You know, uh, my guess is that a 65C is probably going to read hot, closer to 30 or 35C, whereas the 45C battery will probably read closer to 25C on this on this meter. Again, I haven't done this, just a guess, but it, it has the ability to find out the true C rating of your batteries. I purchased it more or less to test batteries and see which battery is better than the other battery just based on internal resistance. So I'm gonna buy two good batteries from two different manufacturers and just compare the two followed by you know real world data with a GPS or what have you. But here's how this thing works. Let me use my cardboard tripod, see if this works. It comes with an XT60. I already made an adapter to EC5. Plug in your battery. And it gives you the voltage of the battery. You hit the button. It gives you the internal resistance of the entire pack. Then, you take this little lead, got black and red on it, you plug it into the black, black to black, and that'll give you a reading of your first cell. Hit the button, gives you the voltage, 3.83 volts, 51%. Hold the button down, gives you a reading of 4.84 ohms. For that cell. Move the connector over to the following cell. Hit the button again. 3.36 ohms on that second cell. So if you got a battery and two cells are at 3 ohms and that third cell is at 4 ohms, you know that's not a great battery. But you can 
you can still use it it should still work fine it's just not going to be a fantastic battery on the other hand if you plug this in and you've got two cells or three cells at two ohms and then you plug it plug in that fourth cell and that fourth cell is at 10 ohms then you know that that battery is junk you know or even worse you got cells at 2 ohms and you got that one cell that's at 20 ohms or I've even on my really junky batteries I've seen this thing say over the limit if you see over the limit the battery is absolutely junk but uh, like I said I didn't buy this to more or less to test batteries if they're good or bad I bought this to find out which batteries are better than others uh, another benefit to this item is you can test the internal resistance with changes according to temperature so uh, you want to take the two batteries and you want to uh, storage charge both of them and then check both of them under a storage charge or you want to fully charge them and then compare them to each other when they're both fully charged but the one variable that has to be kept constant is the temperature of the battery if you check the battery at 40 degrees temperature it's going to have a much higher internal resistance than at 70 degrees so you want to make sure that the two batteries you are testing are at the same same exact temperature but need a little piece huge thanks to huge thanks to Rick for sending this to me it will not work on anything higher than six cells it says right on it almost makes me laugh the way it's written but that's to make sure you don't plug in seven or eight s or ten s into it works two to six s nope one to six s one to six cell maximum 100 to 10,000 mAh packs but again with the temperature uh, it, it's a good means of finding out what temperature is best to achieve the best internal resistance and that'll equate into some speed but huge thanks to Rick again thanks for watching